This video introduces the newly redesigned home page, which implements an updated look and improved navigation. When you sign into WebFocus, the home page opens with the home view displayed by default. This view provides quick access to recent items, your favorite content, and all of the portals that are currently available to you in the repository. Trial users can also see the Getting Started carousel, where you can see the quick start guides and videos. You can scroll through each of these carousels or click the View All button to see all of the items in this section. To go back to the home view, click the back arrow. You can also go back to the home view from any other location in the home page by clicking the WebFocus logo in the banner. Next to the logo are the tabs that take you to other views of the home page. My Workspace view is a centralized location for all your private content. Here you can alternate between the grid and list views. In the grid view, you can see the thumbnails that identify your content. The default thumbnails are assigned automatically by WebFocus based on the file extension and chart type and can be identified by their minimalist design. You can also create a custom thumbnail, either from an uploaded image or by linking to an existing image in your repository. Additionally, you can view these items in a list by clicking an option in the navigation bar. Each item displays an icon identifying the type of content that it contains. You can sort the files in the list view by clicking the column header. You can also add additional columns from the Choose Columns drop-down menu. The Shared With Me view shows all the content items that were shared with you or your group by other users or the items that were shared with all users. Here, too, you can alternate between the grid and list views. The Workspaces view provides access to the content that you or other users in your organization created. This content is organized into workspaces and folders. There are a few ways to navigate the files in the Workspaces view. You can click on folders in the Resources tree to display their contents, and double-click folders in the content area to drill into them. You can navigate back up using the Resources tree, or by using the breadcrumb trail in the navigation bar. The navigation bar also provides the ability to refresh the content area and switch between the grid and list views. When you right-click an item, a shortcut menu appears, enabling you to run, edit, schedule, add to favorites, share your content, and more, depending on the type of content and your user permissions. You can run a file in the viewer on the home page, in a new window, or a new tab. If you don't have permission to edit a file, you can make a copy of it in the My Content folder and edit your own version there. You can use the Plus, Get Data, and Visualize Data buttons above the content area to get data and create new visualizations. These buttons are accessible from every view of the home page. To create a new item in the workspace or folder selected in the Resources tree, click one of the buttons in the action bar. You can expand or collapse the action bar to free space in your content area. To access administration options for WebFocus, use the menu at the top of the page. Depending on your user role, it contains administrative interfaces, your language preference, help resources, access to the legacy homepage, and the ability to change your password. To learn more, visit the WebFocus Knowledge Base, where you can search all technical topics and videos.